We're back, JD Fancy Football Show week 16. And last week was massive for me. I mean, look at my boys, Morris. Smalling, Lukaku, Scott Dan and Toby Alderweireld, they are the GGs. I got 77 points. That is 26 points above the fancy average. But again, again, I had a Golo on the bench. What am I doing? Riyad Mahrez is officially the highest scoring player in fantasy football. He's on 119. That is 12 more than second place Vardy. That is 19 more than third place Lukaku. And it is 23 more than fourth place Ertzel. But I have all four of them in my team. We know that Mahrez and Vardy combined have scored more goals than Manchester United as a whole team. But Vardy has scored more than double United's top striker, which is Martial. And Mahrez has scored 46 more points than United's top midfielder. I mean, come on. I don't want to pick on United, but come on. Anyway, there's easier targets. Leicester have Chelsea this week and they're going to run riot. My 32nd injury roundup, not including the obvious long-term injuries such as Jack Wilshere, Luke Shaw, Danny Welbeck, Fraser Foster, Phil Jagielka, Jay Rodriguez, half of the Bournemouth squad. Here's your week 16 injury roundup. Let's get 30 seconds on the clock now. All right, Wayne Rooney's eating sweets in the stand. I mean, he's been injured. He expects to be back next week. Then you got Alexis Sanchez, the power Chilean. I mean, his hamstring means he'll be out for a couple of weeks, but they're going to miss him. Santi Carzola, oh, he's never really recovered from Delhi Ali's run around, has he? Then you got Vincent Company. I mean, Man City are struggling without him. Silver this time, another Bournemouth player down. Where's Houlihan? I mean, he's one of Norwich's top performers. They're going to miss him. Morgan Schneider, Felipe Coutinho, Rudy Gastede, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Aston Villa's top scoring striker. They're going to miss him massively. Victor Moses, Fernando, Victor Wanyama. Ha, it's Christmas time and Christmas time means board games and one of my favourite ones is Jenga. So we've decided to play fancy football Jenga pieces. You see, you like what I did there. Alright, so there are high fantasy scorers but there are players they need around them to get those all important points. Those are what we like to call the Jenga pieces. Remove those players and watch your numbers tumble. Number five, Chris Smalling. A lot of people say I look like him. I reckon they need to go to Specsavers. Lots of those clean sheets. United don't create much, so it's all about Smalling at the back. Take him out and you'll see a massive fantasy dip in United's squad. If you are thinking of picking him or if you have him in your squad, it's worth noting that he picked up a little knock in Champions League football. Number four, Kevin De Bruyne. Now he's got 71 points, more than Aguero, Sterling, Yaya, less than Kolarov. He gets goals, he gets assists. City is a different team without him, apart from last week. But trust me, they are a different team without him. Number three, James McArthur. Now, when Yannick Bellassi has a good week, it's because James McArthur has been solid at the back. Scott Dan is another Jenga piece for Crystal Palace, but McArthur is the true unsung hero. Believe me, he's got 47 points this season. He's not a massive scorer, but Palace are not the same without him. Dos, Nacho Monreal, AKA Peter Crouch, without the stilts. Now look, he's got 60 points this season. He gets assists, he gets clean sheets, and he makes up for all of those attacking wingers that like to just drift off and disappear at Arsenal. Number one is Mark Albrighton from the number one team in the league. Hey, how about that? He's got 58 points. He gets assists. He opens up the game for Mahrez and Vardy. I mean, Mark Albrighton is quietly fulfilling the potential he showed at Aston Villa. I mean, without him, Leicester would struggle to play their game. He is the true definition of a Jenga piece. I'm still on a high from my big week. I mean, I'm finding it hard to share the wealth with you guys. What a time to be alive. I can see the future, but you guys are catching up. You're sneaky. So I'm gonna have a look at who you guys are buying in week 16. It's time for the 30 second most bought player roundup. All right, let's get 30 seconds on the clock. Now, Meza Ertzel, 9.6 million. He's still cheap. He gets assists. He's been in my team since day one. You need him in yours. Then you've got Toby Alderweireld. I mean, it's pretty obvious why you guys have been getting him. He's got the Belgian bromance with Jan Vertonghen. He's great. He was a great signing for Spurs. Then you've got Ross Barkley. He's absolutely smashing it. I think he's pretty cheap and he's got 87 points. Egalo, he's been on my bench, but he gets goals. He gets points. He's Watford's star man. Kevin De Bruyne. Sanchez is out. Very similar player. Put him in your teams. He'll get goals and he only costs 10.8 million. Kind of expensive, but you need him. Ka ha 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 Pishin. Time. Last week, we asked you which summer signing would top score. And we had some good answers. I mean, De La Feria was one of them. He only scored two. Milne only got two. Czech only got three. Hyung Min Song got one. Kevin De Bruyne got two. Firmino only got three. But there was one winner. And he goes by the name of Super Cohen. And I'm happy to say this. He selected Deli Ali. Deli Ali scored a beautiful goal right through the keeper's legs. He got nine points. The Under Armour bag is coming to you, Super Cohen. You are super. 
this week's competition, the moment you have all been waiting for. All right, looking ahead to Euro 2016, we are giving away the ball they are going to be using in the tournament. The Bleu Jeu. Oh, yes, that means the beautiful game, by the way. The official Adidas tournament ball, it is beautiful. Zidane revealed it last month. To win this amazing ball, we need you to subscribe to JD Football. That's important, and you can do it by hitting that little red button below the screen here. You got it? Also, we need you to join the JD Fantasy Football League when the code and the URL pop up on the screen there. You got that? Good. Then I need you to tell me in the comments before 12.45pm on Saturday which French player will top score in Fantasy Football Week 16. Also, give me a player I should be included in my team for Week 16 as well. It is time for the most sold 30 second rounder. All right, let's get 30 seconds on that clock. Now, Alexis Sanchez, he won't be back for a few weeks. Dry your eyes, Arsenal fans. Oh, oh. I know you need him, he's still in 15% of teams. Then you've got Felipe Coutinho. No one knows how long he's out for. He might be back, he might not, but he's a big player for Liverpool. Then you've got Graziano Pelle. The guy's completely dropped off. Good striker, where is he though? He needs points. He's still in 15.1% of teams. Then you've got Vincent Company. Is he in? Is he out? Is he hurt? Is he fit? Who knows? All I know is Manchester City need the guy. He's still in 20.3% of teams. Then you've got Yaya Torre. The man is out of form. Get him out of your team. And that's it for week 16. Make sure you share it on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Put it everywhere. Show it to your mum, your dad, your grandma. Put it underneath your Christmas tree. Watch it in school. Do whatever you have to do. Subscribe to the channel. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure you drop it a like. And guys, I will see you next week. Keep it casual.